for tuning in. Today's gonna be a different type of day. I'm here in my car about to go into my second job and I'm gonna be recording my second day of work post pandemic or during pandemic should I say <laughs> because nothing has really changed. Um, but we are back to work in the dental offices and you know I worked yesterday in my main job and it was a regular day, a lot of patients. Um, we're really happy to, you know, be back at work and see everyone. It was great, but very, very, very exhausting. I got home and I literally wanted to pass out at like seven o'clock. Like it just felt like a weight was on my whole body. I don't know if it's because I haven't used these muscles in a while or all the PPE we have to wear now, but it's it's definitely different from before. So, you know, see how it goes today. Hopefully I can get used to this, but I just wanted to kind of vlog today to let you guys know about, you know, the, the new life and the field. And I know I have a lot of colleagues that, you know, are going back to work soon, haven't gone back to work yet. So just different things that from me learning from other people so far have helped me so much um and i'll tell you guys more about that but first things first i couldn't get a head um cap because i ordered it off of etsy and it's going to take about like two weeks to come i ordered it a week ago so they do have like disposable ones that i've been using at work Both are kind of better so i heard from amazon you can get those just one tip there um otherwise um another coworker of mine had gotten scrub like disposable scrub pants to put on top of her scrubs so that way she doesn't have to change at the end of the day or she can still change but not technically like because she had that covering I brought my own instruments because I'm worried about having to use not use the Cavtron and work with instruments that maybe haven't been sharpened in a while. Also have to bring a bag of clothes so I can change in and out of at the end of the day. And then I have to make sure that I wash these clothes like literally every day. So it's just a lot. It's a lot. And I think that, you know, it's just gonna be an adjustment. This is like our new way of life, but I just wanted to show you guys a little bit about that. So I'll be back. All right guys, so all the gear here, this is the thermometer we're gonna be using to check patient temperatures, face shield, gown, hair knit. <laughs> yep, and then this is my room we're gonna be working in today. Not gonna lie, this is my second cup of coffee already this morning. <laughs> K95. This one doesn't have to be fitted, so I'm just gonna put this and then I'll put a surgical mask over. <laughs> works with my loops. glad that I brought my own because you just never know with certain offices what kind of face shield they have and this one is not going to work around my loops so I ordered one on Amazon I'll link it below and that way you guys can order the one that I have Right, I'm just gonna put my hair cap on and I'll be ready for my first patient. Wish me luck guys. So this job has foot covers, so I'm, I'm gonna put these over my shoes. 
so I tried these. I wanted to love them, but they ripped on me at least twice, and that was really pointless. This is one way that you can wear your face shield if you have the loops that have the light at the top where you have to touch the light. But I also saw this online, so this could be a solution as well. So this is one solution that you could use if your ears are bothering you. Keep in mind though, be careful when taking it off because it can easily rip one of those masks in the back and that's what happened to me with the N95 and we don't want that happening. So I would say give it a try, see how it goes. So I got my own instruments because I felt that if I had sharp instruments, I would be able to use the Cavatron less, and I was correct. This whole week I've been trying my best not to use the Cavatron, but of course there's times when you need to use it because staining, but overall these instruments have helped me so much, and I highly recommend them. They're very light, light grasp, and don't really hurt your pan that much after a long day of hand scaling, so I recommend them. I'll leave them in the link below. Hey guys, so it's Sunday and I have fully recovered from, you know, the exhaustion that I had this whole week. It was very tough, I'm not gonna lie, the first week back is very hard and I think mainly because getting used to all the new PPE and, you know, maybe not drinking enough water throughout the day and honestly when I got home a lot of those nights I just wanted to pass out I mean I didn't want to cook I didn't want to really do much besides just relax outside so you know just something to keep in mind the first night I went to bed at like 7 30 um after that I got better every day so if you are one of those hygienists that hasn't gone back to work yet just know it's going to be a little hard but my advice is to drink as much water as you can have protein for lunch because one of these lunch breaks I had a very small soup and salad and I did not feel enough energy for the afternoon and these schedules have been very booked so um I don't know where you guys work or how many patients you see a day but for us it's been a good eight patients a day maybe a cancellation here or there but overall it's been a busy schedule so definitely a lot to keep up with with these new guidelines so i think one of the biggest challenges so far with going back to work is that two jobs that i work are very different one job i'm using i'm allowed to polish teeth and I'm, you know, allowed to use the Cavatron as much as I need to, but obviously we want to limit the use of that. Our, a lot of offices understaffed right now because of this, but, you know, we don't always have that help. So I have been getting really good at the bottom, suctioning on the bottom, but the top has just been such a struggle for me. Comment down below if you guys have any tips for that. And I know that there's that leaf suction. It looks like a little leaf. I'll put a picture up of that. But to be honest, not every office is going to order that for us. So I would love to hear some innovative tips from you guys with the regular, you know, stronger, bigger suction that we use in order to do it on our own. And I'm trying to hand scale as much as possible, but it's, it's doable with light to moderate calculus. But anything from, you know, heavy tartar to extremely heavy, it's just really difficult. So... Other than that, um, I have been just doing so much better with my new instruments. I mean, that's my biggest tip for you guys is that if you don't feel confident hand scaling, get yourself some good instruments. That is like the number one thing that has helped me so far. And also just remember is that you can claim that on your taxes and it will definitely, you know, be claimed. So that's one thing for sure. And another thing I was going to mention is that my other job... Is not polishing so keep in mind you know that not everyone is going to really understand this um, but that is the biggest you know I, I've always felt that about dentistry like every office is so different and you guys would know this but you know let me know what you guys are doing are you polishing are you not um, how are you guys getting through this I just really want to know any more tips that you guys have it just we have to come together and help each other because that is what's going to get us through this but yeah just leave a comment if you guys have any great tips i would love to hear them and i love other hygienists and dental professionals to hear them and i really think that that's one of the best ways we're going to get through this 
so thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel and i'll see you next time don't forget to like and subscribe